Hey sweeties, well, at least you can see me face this time, mate. I'm here tonight and I will be plying some silk and these together. This is a um, homemade lazy cake that I made up. It's um, it's just made out of coat hangers and an old UV light for my nails. So, I'm going to start with these. a lazy cake but with coat hangers and an old an old um as I said old UV light that I don't use anymore because I can't do my nails anymore so there we go I need to get this set up first before It's just easier when I apply when I put in a small little knot in the end of the two of them together. And then when you ply, when you do your singles, you do them clockwise. So that way, when you ply, you pull your wheel any clockwise. grabbing because this bobbin hates me okay here we go that's too tight so there we go And there we go, I'm flying. I can definitely tell the difference between the way I used to spin to the way I spin now and it's only been what, a couple of months? So, you can definitely see the difference. see the difference in the plying too. So, I've just got to be careful because this red and black one doesn't have a lot on it so
And this is silk and merino that I'm applying together. Hand dyed merino, hand dyed silk. And it will sort of barber pole because of the way I'm the way I'm spinning it. I don't mind that because it actually looks pretty quick. So and all I do is I keep moving it down the bobbin. Just as it starts to fill. Just to keep the bobbin even. And this is for my other, this is for my sleeves of my jumper, so. Normally I'd like to keep these on the bobbins for, you know, a couple of weeks or at least on like a, um, one of my plastic bobbins, but this will only be on for about a couple of days and then I'll set it in some warm water and get the twist to set and then I'll be able to finish off my jump up. Hopefully. If not, I'll have to buy some more. Sorry, I keep looking at the the lazy cake to see how much I've got left because I know it's coming up. <laughs> also, I watched a good good video today by Grace Shalom Hopkins and she's a great spinner, dyer, um, all around fibre artisan and she did a bit of a health thing. Now it doesn't just apply really to spinners, it applies to you guys crocheting and knitting as well. So go and check out her latest video. Bit of a shout out there, eh? <laughs> No, it's definitely worth having a look at. Here it goes, coming up to the end. Well, not of the silk, but of the red. <laughs> the red black contrast. <laughs> Now different positions where you hold your hand and different ways that you hold your actual, the two together will actually cause a different angle on the actual yarn as well. So by holding the red on top, it's actually my dominant colour. If I was to switch it around, the silk would be the dominant, which I definitely don't want. <laughs> So that's a plastic, that's my plastic bobbin. Whoop. 
should have do that right then and there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. As I've said before, you don't need to spend an awful lot. The people that came before us, like our ancestors, they didn't spend an awful lot. They found what was around the house and around the yard and everything. So, and that's what we should be doing too. Utilizing what we've already got. Stop moving. No one gave you permission. She's getting a bit cheeky these days, Miss Molly. So yeah, I just use paper paper rolls. Actually, these are from our garbage bags. I also use toilet roll holders. I use whatever I can get my hands on to. Now, I know this isn't like the way they love you to to connect it, why not? But I'm really not in the mood to try and work out how they do it because I haven't learnt that one yet. So right now I just still connect them with a knot. And as you saw, my yarn is pretty tight, pretty good. The singles are pretty damn good anyway. These singles have been on this bobbin now. <laughs> These singles have been on this bobbin now for about, oh, a good three months. So they're definitely solid enough to burn all this. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Yep. No, wrong way. She gets a bit cheeky. She thinks we're still flying. We're still doing singles. And just to check that your yarn's going okay, you can just pull it back. And if it hangs just like that, if it hangs, now you're, now you're, hot, now you're curling up on yourself because of where I have to hold. If it hangs just like that, then it's a wool, then it's a perfectly balanced yarn. You're basically taking out the over twist that you put in when you were putting your singles in. So if you over twist your singles, don't panic. It will come out in plying. And then it will also puff up a bit as well when you um, set it. So, and depending on how you spin it, a worsted or a woolen, you'll get different plies again. So it's, all different every time and every spinner is different no spinner has the exact same how did you end up down there no spinner has the exact same type of spin um, they don't spin the same like they don't have the same treadle pace it's like fingerprint so basically it's another way of identifying someone if they're a spinner by their yarn. 
which I find fascinating. So, oh, I forgot my coffee. I won't be a moment. Don't spin back on your bloody self. what those things are great for. <laughs> I'd run out of coffee so I have to make another one. Sorry about the noise that's about to come up. The coffee and spinning come hand in hand. <laughs> So just while I'm thinking of it, I made myself an automatic ball winder and skein winder. So I just put it on my, here we go, I just put it on my Swift like such. I can't do it one hand, I don't think. Well, I've got to be careful because I've got my yarn back there. <laughs> As you can see, that worked, and it also works on the good old bowl winder. So there's some that I've done, and I'll just put this down. And some of the skeins that are skeined up, I was able to literally make um, two skeins and three balls in the time it would take me to make one ball. <laughs> So here's the coffee machine, sorry guys. Rabbitohs had a good win this weekend too. Just thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> they had a really good win on Mother's Day. It was great. The boys always perform well on Mother's Day for some reason. They all love their mummies. So I'm hoping to get at least just under a hundred grams off of this, off of these. Well, I've got that. I've got this one here still to go. Um, I've got a fair bit on this one, so I should be right. Um, the store I bought these from on Etsy has still got a couple left, so I might hit them up in the next few days and grab them, just in case. It's also a really nice combination, to be honest. Oh, 
I'm not willing to try dyeing silk and everything yet. Wait, that hurt. She got a good old fashioned maintenance cleaner earlier. So she's she's a bit cheeky. She gets a bit cheeky when she gets a bit of a clean up. So there's really not much to do with plying, like, um, literally what I'm doing here is what you do and pff, that's it, <laughs> there's not much else, um, especially not when you're plying like this, when you're, um, when you're chain plying that's a bit more complicated, um, when you, um, When you're making more than a two ply, you spin your first two this way. You, they call it S ply. And then when you're plying the two, two plies together, you then ply them in the Z wise again. So it's, yeah, very, um, that's when it gets a bit, you know, a bit more complicated but at this point it's just sit at your spindle and spin at your wheel and spin <laughs> so and then just make sure that as you're going you um keep moving your your yarn up and down your hooks just to make sure you spread it out over the, the bobbin because otherwise your wheel gets a real good rattle going and everything that's when you know you've sort of got an unbalanced bobbin. When I get to the other end, I'll show you what I mean. So she's starting to get a bit unbalanced here, so she's got that bit of a wobble going. There's only one solution for that. Pull both your legs over. Now I've learnt you can use both your legs, your both your feet on the one treadle. But it does go a bit faster, so you've got to be a bit more careful. Sort of does give you a bit more speed on your old drive. But it also means you've got to move your Move your lazy cake. Back up a little bit more. Fingers get tired after a while though.
and the closer you hold them together, sometimes, depends. You get a different angle on twist and the further apart you hold them, you get a different angle on twist again. I was going to do some dyeing tonight, but after I'd done all the staining, I just went, no, I'll just do some buying. <laughs> I also find that when you're plying, the silk behaves better. <laughs> once it's plied, once once you're in that position of plying the silk, it behaves a lot better than when it's in roving form or anything. It's a bit unruly when you're when you're trying to spin it as a single. But once you're getting in, into your plying mode, she takes everything else where they're supposed to go. So. I will admit, if I had to choose between everything that I've spun so far, I would choose silk every time. I'm looking forward to doing cotton and all that as well, so... Here, she's unbalanced now. I'm looking down here and it's like watching a whole factory working, you know, the way it works in the factory. 